which whole numbers will make this statement true. And we have the statement here where we have some brackets are less than 7. So we just have to figure out which whole numbers, and if we put them here, are really less than 7. So let's draw a number line. Let's go up to 7. And when we talk about whole numbers, we're talking about the non-negative numbers, or the numbers that start at 0 and they aren't fractions. So let me draw them on a number line. So let's say we have this number line right here. We'll start at 0. You could go below 0. There are negative numbers, but we're not going to concern ourselves with them right now. So you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I'll go up a little bit, 8, 9. Now we want all of the numbers that are less than 7. That's what that means. We could write it like this. Question mark is less than 7. And what would satisfy question mark? And the, the, the hardest thing about these greater than or less than is remembering what the symbol means. We have the smaller side pointing to the question mark. So that is a smaller number. The, and we have the larger side of the symbol pointing to the 7. So 7 is going to be the larger of the two numbers. So what numbers satisfy that? Well, anything below 7, any whole number below 7. So if we look at 7 on the lumber line, what are all of the whole numbers below 7 that are less than 7? Well, we have a 6, we have 5, we have 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0. So you could put any of these numbers here, and the statement would be true. You could write 0 is less than 7. That's true. You could write 3 is less than 7. That's true. You could write 6 is less than 7. And that would be true. You could not write that 8 is less than 7. So 8 would not satisfy this. This is not, this is not true. This is not true. So we cannot write that. 8 is greater than 7. 